everyone welcome to my video on interpretation of topographical map part 13 in this video we are going to learn the various conventional signs and symbols representing the various means of irrigation what is irrigation it is the artificial means of providing water for agricultural lands to cultivate crops there are four major types of irrigation well irrigation tank irrigation canal irrigation and through dams let's learn them one by one now well irrigation this can be classified on the basis of water availability into perennial wells and non perennial wells and on the basis of construction we have lined wells and unlined wells lined wells these are pakka wells the walls of these wells are supported with bricks or stone in a circular pattern you may wonder why these wells are lined lining the wells have many advantages such as it helps to retain the water it helps the hole from caving in it acts as a seal to prevent polluted surface water from entering the well and it also serves as foundation and support for the well top the symbol for lined well is a shaded circle and if these wells are perennial it will be blue in color and if they are non perennial it will be black in color in this picture of a topographical map you can see the blue shaded dots these are perennial lined wells unlined wells these are called kacha wells they do not have walls with bricks or stones they are usually seasonal and they are not much deep The symbol for unlined well is an unshaded circle and if they are perennial the symbol will be blue and if they are non perennial the symbol will be in black In the first picture you can see a perennial unlined well whereas in the second picture you can see the non perennial unlined well In some parts of the map near the wells you can see the word brackish it shows that the water in the well is salty and unfit for drinking here are some common questions what is the meaning of the word brackish whenever this question is asked i have seen answers like it means the water is brackish no this is wrong you cannot use the same word brackish when the question itself is what is the meaning of the word brackish the right answer is the water in the well is salty and unfit for drinking and why is this water brackish here this is the next question we know that our map extract shows parts of arid and semi arid regions and in arid region due to high temperature we know that there is excessive evaporation so due to this excessive evaporation there is high salt content in the water the third question is the water from this well used for irrigation or drinking purpose give reason for your answer so like i told this is salt water so we cannot use it for irrigation or drinking next is tube well it is a bore well and it needs energy to operate the pumps to extract water and the symbol is a blue color triangle it is blue because it is perennial this is a picture of a tube well and this is how it is represented in our topographical map these are some common questions on tube well why is the symbol for tube well blue in color the answer is because it is perennial second question why are tube wells not found much in our topographical map one reason is because it is very expensive to construct than a common well and the second reason is it requires electricity to extract water which may not be available in all the areas spring this is a picture of a spring it is a place where water wells up from the earth the symbol is a blue color plus it is blue because it is usually perennial next we move on to tank irrigation tanks are also called as thalo there are two types of tanks perennial tanks and seasonal tanks Perennial tanks have water throughout the year and so they are represented in blue color. This is a picture of the famous Nakitalo, a perennial tank in Mount Abu represented in our topo map. 
whereas seasonal tanks they have water only during the rainy season and they are represented in black color with black dots in them these small black circles in the map are seasonal tanks tank with an embankment an embankment is a mound constructed to keep the water within certain limits we know that during the time of flood water tends to overflow so in places wherever flooding is common we construct a mound to avoid the water from flooding and in the topographical map usually around the tanks you can see these black spokes this is a symbol of an embankment and often we can see the relative height written near them here it is written as 3r it means the relative height of the embankment of the seasonal tank is 3 meter next we move on to canal irrigation canal is also of two types perennial canal and seasonal canal now what is a canal a canal is nothing but just a channel of water which is taken from a main river or usually any perennial water source this is done in order to divert the water from this perennial river or the water source for the purpose of irrigation or navigation in this topographical map you can see the dantiwara dam from the dam you can see this blue color line so this is a perennial canal and in these maps you can see the canal going from a reservoir or a dam and here it is black in color because it is a seasonal canal these canals will have water in them only during the rainy season or only when water is required for irrigation in these regions in some maps we can see bridge over a canal so this is a picture of a bridge over a canal and look at the topographical map the blue color line indicates a canal and you can see the bridge symbol over there where the cart track is cutting through the canal so this is a bridge over a canal and canal under construction is usually written on a map over black broken lines it means the canal is still under construction now this is an old map showing sipu nadi and this is a new topographical map showing sipu nadi on a comparative study of this we can observe that in the new map across the sipu nadi they have constructed an embankment to store the water and we can also see a canal under construction represented by black broken lines from this we can understand how they are using the water of sipu nadi for irrigation through these canals next we move on to dams we know that it is a man made structure built across a river to control the flow of water dams are mainly used for irrigation flood control and also to produce hydroelectricity there are three types of dams earthen dam masonry dam and weir earthen dam it is also called embankment dam it is built by compacting successive layers of earth that is one over the above and it is represented by black color this is a picture of bansura sagar dam india's largest earthen dam and this is how a earthen dam looks in our topographical map it is represented by black color masonry dams these dams are made of stone and brick and they are very strong than the earthen dams and it is represented by red color in our topographical map this picture is an example of a masonry dam and to the right we can see the dantiwara dam which is a masonry dam represented by red color in our topographical map weir it is a low dam constructed across a stream or a river in order to raise the level of the water or to change the direction of flow of the water this is a picture of tirparappu weir in tamil nadu we have some more symbols related to irrigation let's see them one by one first is reservoir it is a man made artificial tank with an embankment to store water it is usually perennial and so it is represented in blue this is a picture of aliyar reservoir next is diggi this is a new symbol in our topo map it is a tank used for collection or storage of water 
and it is constructed near the field in order to use the water for irrigation purpose and this is a picture of a diggy and even though a diggy may not be perennial it is still represented in blue color squares in a topographical map and the words diggy will be printed near them can you guess what is this yes it looks like a bridge but it is not for vehicles it is for water yes it is an aqueduct an aqueduct is an artificial channel to convey water in the form of a bridge across a valley they help to water the fields especially in areas where there is water scarcity during the dry season this is a picture of mathur aqueduct from tamil nadu and this is the top view of the mathur aqueduct you can see the water being conveyed and parallel to that you can actually walk over this aqueduct to see the beautiful view from here next is sluice as you can see from the picture it is a gate to control the flow of water in a canal or a water channel in these topo maps you can see i am across rivers and from there you can see the canal flowing and the place where this canal is connected to the dam you can see the sluice this controls the flow of water to these canals next is siphon it means the canal or the aqueduct has been bent to allow the water to pass through it usually pipes are used as a siphon in the first picture you can see the siphon where the perennial canal is trying to pass over a seasonal river and in the second picture you can see the siphon where the perennial canal is trying to pass over a district road so in these pictures the canal has been bent to allow the water to pass through the seasonal river and the district road these are the two water storage devices used for domestic or drinking purpose and not for irrigation purpose the first one is an overhead tank you might have seen these tanks in many parts of india and this is how it looks in our topographical map a blue color square with two lines below them second one is a covered tank this is a picture of a covered tank and it is represented in our topographical map by a blue color square and the word covered tank will be written there some common questions from this covered tank are why is this tank covered the answer is to avoid pollution and to avoid loss of water through evaporation second question what is the purpose of this covered tank the answer is to store water and to help the people to use them for drinking and domestic purpose and remember do not write for irrigation we have come to the end of a video here are some revision questions try to complete them within 8 minutes and then come back to check the answers i hope you have completed please check your answers Subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video. Until then, bye bye.